It's the end of the week, so you know what that means. It's time for another Madden 23 update. Now, of course, we got another roster update this week to go over, but we also got some other stuff we need to cover before we get into the roster update. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you never want to miss out on any of the Madden updates or the Madden 24 news that should start coming out very shortly, make sure you subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you never miss any of these important videos when they go live. Now, I did a video yesterday talking about what to expect in the next big overall game update, which would include franchise mode stuff, ultimate team stuff, a lot of of gameplay stuff and more so if you missed that video you can check it out after this one however in that video i touched on the constant issues with franchise mode that are still going on the last we heard is that ea came out and said a lot of leagues were corrupted shortly after christmas and a lot of people still can't get back into their leagues and as far as we still know they're still estimating about 60 percent of the corrupted leagues to be gone and lost forever but as far as i'm understanding the other 40 percent of leagues i don't believe are all back up and running yet i do think some people have been able to get back into their leagues but of that 40 percent from what it sounds like most of them are still having the same issue so i don't think it's really even fully been fixed yet and ea has not come out and said anything since that last update which was about a week or so ago at this point which is a little alarming because usually if nothing else they've at least been kind of vocal about what's going on and a few times a week they'll say they found the issue they're working on the issue they're doing server maintenance we've had server maintenance at least once a week pretty much all year but it doesn't appear that any of that has happened this week or since they made the announcement that 60 percent of the corrupted leagues would be lost so it's kind of odd that they haven't come out and made a follow-up to that yet they have been making some follow-up updates with ultimate team because ultimate team has suffered two or three issues since then as well some of those have been addressed or at least been spoken about but franchise mode since that last update from then we haven't heard anything so if you still can't get into your league you might not know if you're in the 40 percent or if you're in the 60 percent which is kind of frustrating but as soon as they say something i'll be sure to let you guys know now let's get into the roster update for this week we're going to talk about the players who are going up first and we've got Jair Alexander going up plus two to a 95 overall which is interesting because he had just dropped down a few weeks ago a little bit to like a 90 but then ever since then he's been locking in even better and he's jumped back up to a 95 and during this time where he went down for a week or two EA put out an x-factor update and they actually removed him as an x-factor player which is funny because now he's back up to a 95 and he's not even an x-factor player in the game but he's one of the best players in the entire game 95 plus there's not that many guys and now he's up there with no x factor which is kind of weird dexter lawrence continuing to go up i feel like this guy's been going up pretty much every week he's up again plus one to a 94 overall minka fitzpatrick's been going up a lot lately he's up plus one to a 93 overall and i believe this could be the highest he's ever been rated chris lindstrom's up plus one to a 91 overall Marshawn Lattimore had his first game back in months last week and he had a big game and a pick six at the end he's going up plus one to a 91 overall as well and Patrick Sertan another really good cornerback going up plus one to a 91 overall as well Andrew Thomas has been going up a ton this year as well and he's going up yet again plus one officially in the 90 overall club we've got Mike Evans and his quarterback Tom Brady also going up plus one to a 90 and another one of their teammates Chris Godwin going up plus one one to 89 overall austin eckler's also going up plus one to 89 and it feels like he should be higher with the year that he's having hassan reddick's going up plus one to 88 overall the rookie sauce gardner is also going up plus one to 88 this is the highest i can remember a rookie cornerback being rated in a long time probably going to be defensive player of the year although i do feel like aiden hutchinson definitely needs to be in that conversation because he's having a pretty crazy year as well but it doesn't feel like he's getting talked about nearly enough brandon ayuk's going up plus one to 85 overall daniel carlson's going up plus one to 83 overall jabril peppers also going up plus one to 83 travis Etienne is also going up plus one to 83 and we've got taylor decker going up plus two to 83 Brandon Graham's going up plus one to 82 overall. And then we've got Dalton Schultz, Jake Matthews, and Jamal Williams also going up plus one to 82. Justin Reed's going up plus one to 81 overall. James Daniels going up plus one to 80 overall. Blake Gilligan's going up plus one to a 79 overall. Cam Akers and Jarek McKinnon also going up plus one to a 79. And Jarek McKinnon's really been kind of bursting on the scene late in his career with the Chiefs. He's become a really good weapon for them lately. We've got Chuck Clark going up plus two to a 79 overall. Jarek Goff's going up plus one to a 78 overall. 
Darnell Savage going up plus one to a 77 overall. His teammate Quay Walker is also going up plus one to a 77. And T.Y. Hilton now with the Cowboys also going up plus one to a 77. Grant Delpit's going up plus three to a 77 overall. He's having a pretty big jump this week. Good to see. Mac Jones going up plus one to a 75 overall. And Daniel Jones going up plus one to a 74 overall. Feel like he should be a little higher. I'm not saying he's like the greatest QB. He's having his best season. And it's not a crazy season by any means, but definitely his best season. Just think he should maybe be a little bit higher than this. Now let's talk about the players who are going down. Quentin Nelson going down again, minus one to a 93 overall. Keenan Allen's going down one to a 89 overall. DK Metcalf is going down one to a 88 overall. Eric Kendricks going down one to a 87 overall. We've got Ezekiel Elliott and Khalil Mack also going down one to a 87. Antoine Winfield Jr. is going down 1 to a 86 overall. Calvin Ridley's going down 1 to a 84 overall. He has not even played all year. I don't really know why they do this, but that's just what EA does. They randomly put people down even if they haven't been playing. Charles Leno Jr. is going down 1 to a 82 overall. Javante Williams also going down 1 to a 82. He has not played since early this season with an injury, so another guy that I don't really understand why they're lowering. Fletcher Cox is going down 2 to a 81 overall just kind of getting older not quite the guy he was a few years ago he was like one of the best interior linemen in the league probably second behind Aaron Donald a few years ago but he's just getting older now he's not quite the same guy Damian Harris is going down 1 to 81 overall. Mike Kosicki is also going down 1 to 81. Jack Conklin's going down 1 to 80 overall. Chris Boswell is going down 1 to 79 overall. Michael Dixon's also going down 1 to 79. Derek Carr is going down 1 to 77 overall. Again, I mean, he's been going down all year, but he didn't play last week and he's not playing for the rest of the year, so I'm not sure why they're dropping him yet again. Now, if you want to find out more about what's coming in the next big overall game update for Madden. 23, make sure you check out this video right here on the screen.